Avid supporters of the People's United Party, a number, according to party leader John Briseño, that stood at roughly 1,000 strong, journeyed to Belmopan this morning. The purpose of the trip to the capital city was to lend moral support to the senators who are meeting today on a number of pressing issues. What we're doing here today is just that on, on Monday um, afternoon when we had a meeting to discuss the press conference, we felt that this was important that we come out here to support our senators. Our senators are making two very, very important um, motions. One is for there to be a Senate investigation into the criminal behavior or, um, or activities that had taken place in the immigration department. And secondly, because of the corruption has become so pervasive in the UDP government from the top to the bottom, from the bottom to the top, I think enough of talking. It is time for us to sign the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. In March of this year, during the budget debate, I invited the Prime Minister to join me for us to, to sign this convention. But obviously, for some reason or the other, he has refused to do so. And probably when we could kind of understand now, when we see the report from the Auditor General, that can see why he may, may be a bit hesitant in signing that convention. So today we're here just to show our support. This was one day event, just one day work yesterday. We started calling people to see who are those that are interested in coming out. Um, so we are very pleased. We have probably close to about 1,500 people. We have here, we have one at the shade over there. We have them all over um, showing their support and demonstrating their frustration with the way that the Prime Minister and this UDP government have been mishandling the affairs of this country. Chairman Henry Charles Usher is among the Belize City supporters who showed up en masse today. The showing, he says, is a prelude to a massive protest being organized for next Wednesday. As you know, today the senators will be calling for an independent Senate inquiry into the Auditor General's report. It's a critical inquiry independent of what is going on right now that needs to be done. And I think that is why um, it's important for the people to be out here supporting that. As to your question, yes, the party leader announced on Monday that we will be uh, mobilizing people for next week Wednesday for a massive demonstration in Belize City. There are so many issues, I can't even name or list all the issues that are going on in this country right now, but just some of them, the, the Mason scandal, the passport scandal, the BTL issue, the general state of the economy, all of these, Section 53, all of these are issues that will galvanize the people to come out in support next week Wednesday. It will be a countrywide move and we hope to have the route and so on in place by this weekend. We're still working on the route in Belize City. In terms of the People's United Party at present, what are we looking at in terms of the state of unity of the party, seeing as though there are so many issues as you've mentioned and it seems as if though the government has taken its own position contrary to what the people of Belize may very well be in support of. Well, you, you asked two things there. Yes, the government has consistently taken positions against the wishes of the people. When it comes to Guatemala, when it comes to the economy, when it comes to BTL, with Ashcraft, when it comes to Section 53, the government has consistently gone against the wishes of the people. When you ask about unity in the party, we just came out of a massive convention the end of January where the Honorable John Briseño and a new national executive was elected. And I think coming out of that convention, you see the unity, you feel the unity, and you know that the, the, the purpose is there. We are here to serve the people, but we're also here to speak out against the oppression, the victimization that is going on in government right now. In light of what transpired on Friday, leader of the opposition, John Briseño, says that the party hasn't heard anything from the clerk of the house or the speaker pertaining to the suspension of Cayo South era representative Julius Espat. Several days have passed since this fiasco here on Independence Hill and inside the assembly building last Friday. Have you heard anything from either the people involved, uh, the cabinet secretary or people who are responsible for the runnings of the House of Representatives as to the way forward as of Friday? Unfortunately, <clears throat> unfortunately, no. And I think it's a, a crime shame. I guess they must be super embarrassed by the way they have behaved last week Friday. Because I, I, as, as what we've been saying since Monday, that what was done was illegal, 
no proper motion was followed, the procedure was not followed. I mean, at the very least, there had to be a vote about taking out um, Honorable Julius Espat from the House. So I want to make it very clear that Julius Espat was not properly named, so he still must remain in the House. So whenever they call the next House meeting, that the government has to invite Julius Espat to go to the House. And all of us are going to walk in along with him and we're going to sit in there because all of us have been elected by the people to represent the different constituencies that we represent. The mobilization of supporters for next Wednesday's protest in Belize, according to Brusenio, will see a convergence of party supporters from across the country, as well as social partners. Talk to us about the mobilization of supporters for next Wednesday. I know you mentioned that uh, the bigger protest, so to speak, will be staged a week from today in Belize City. Talk to us about the preparation and the organization going into bringing in people from the various reaches of the country. Well, it is important for us to, be, to, to demonstrate to the borough UDP government that, um, that we are very dissatisfied. We believe that the UDP conned us in the last election when they were saying that the best is yet to come. And just in about, what, eight, nine months, the country is spiraling out of control. The economy is getting worse. Um, the Statistical Institute of Belize has pointed out that our exports fell by almost 25 percent. All of our major industries are in trouble. People can't get jobs. The cost of living continues to go up. Education continues to go up. The government is broke. They can't find how they can make monies available, find monies to help students to go to school. We've now they're hearing now that they're saying that they won't be able, would not be able to to give the um, pay raises to to the teachers, to the police, to the public officers, to to the BDF. Um, now we hear so this is the worst scandal that any government has ever had in the entire history of this country. Because of all of these things, we believe that they have conned us and that it is important for us to go out in one voice as one people to march in Belize City. That is why we're inviting not only the supporters of the People's United Party, we're inviting the NGO community, we're inviting the other social partners, we're inviting the, um, the public um, the private sector, and we're also inviting the, 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 the government workers to come out and show our displeasure. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kertano.